We believe in the truth that is in the Bible. But we don't believe in the lies that the white man has put in the Bible. We believe in the prophets and the scriptures they brought to the people. We believe in the resurrection of the dead. Not in the physical resurrection. But in the physical resurrection. We believe that the so-called Negroes are most in need of mental resurrection. Therefore, they will be resurrected first. We believe in the resurrection of the dead, but not when you're physically dead. When you stop breathing and your heart stops beating, and that man stick you in the ground, that's all she wrote. You are not going anywhere. Your soul isn't going anywhere. Your body isn't going anywhere. Nothing is happening after that. When you're dead, you're done. That's it. You can forget it. Then the says, oh, what about the resurrection? He says, that our people are dead. Negroes are dead. Walk in the zombies. You're the one that the book is talking about who is dead. Dead to the knowledge of yourself. Dead to the knowledge of your own people. Dead to the knowledge of your own God. Dead to the knowledge of the devil. Why, you don't even know who the devil is. You think the devil is someone down inside the ground that's going to burn you after you're dead. Why, the devil is right here on top of this earth and he's giving you hell every day and you're still too dead to see it. We believe in the resurrection of the dead. We believe that the 20 million black people in America in the last days will be taught the truth. The trumpet of truth will sound in your ear. And it's being sounded today. The trumpet of truth. And this truth strikes your ear and strikes your heart. It'll open your eyes. It'll open your ears. It'll make you stand up. It'll do the same thing for you that truth did for the dry bones in the valley. Because the picture of dry bones in the valley is talking about you. The picture of Lazarus laying dead four days is talking about you. You are Lazarus. You are the dry bones. You are the prodigal son. You are the lost sheep. You are the people about whom the Bible is speaking who will stand up in the last day when the trumpet is sounded. Black people are waking up. Black people are standing up. Black people are rising up and they're throwing strength. We believe we are the people of God's choice. That's what we believe. We believe we're the chosen people. We don't believe Jews are the chosen people. We don't believe Jews are the ones going to the promised land. We don't think Jews are a part of God. No, Jews are nothing but another part of that same race of devils that come out of Europe. They didn't even come out of the Holy Land. They come out of the caves of Europe. We furthermore, we believe we are the people of God's choice. As it is written, that God would choose the rejected and despised. And we can find no other person fitting this description in these last days more than the so-called Negroes in America. We believe in the resurrection of the righteous. We believe in the judgment. We believe this first judgment will take place as God reveals right here in America. The judgment will take place in America. The resurrection will take place in America. The, the uh, uh, judgment will take place in America. The separation will take place in America. And the destruction will take place in America. Doom will take place in America. Doomsday will take place right here. This is the place the Bible is talking about. When the Bible mentions Babylon, it means America. When the Bible means, it mentions Sodom and Gomorrah, that's America. When the Bible mentions Egypt, that's America. This is 